They abandoned what I would call standard operational procedure for some sort of haphazard, random, experimental ideas. And it just didn't make sense. Um, not only was I... Uh, um, not only did I compete for my country at the Olympics, etc., but I was a, a soldier. And as a soldier, we get given standard operation procedures for every single eventuality. And the reason you get them is that people then can operate, act and react in unison, unison according to the guidelines. So it doesn't make sense to me that these erudite, articulate people would abandon that for some sort of, let's do this, let's do that. Um, and again, another thing that you said there was that Sweden, who adopted our <laughs> SOPs, are bottom of the league. And this is a time when it's great to be bottom of the league. <laughs> <laughs> They're 59 out of... Yeah, 59th out of 59 um, other countries. So I don't get it. I didn't understand it. And, of course, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth because, well, it, it made me think, he who pays the piper calls the tune. Mm. Who was calling the tune? I can't believe that these, as I said, amadite, I mean, the professors and doctors and top people in industry could just lose a plot like that and abandon the SOPs. So, good riddance. I've got to disagree with the previous speaker. I, I, I can't see them come back again. Certainly not in that, in, that, in that guise, because they got it so wrong. You know, all of the predictions were so, so wrong. And the harms... You know, if you just think about... When I say young people, I'm not talking about Oscar. I mean, your Oscar is young, but yeah. even younger than Oscar. <laughs> you, know, you know, when you think of our young children, mm. you know, our five-year-olds and ten-year-olds who've lost 50% of their life or 25% of their life in this draconian, quasi-communist type of system where you're confined to, to barracks, you can't go out, can't speak, can't hug your friends... What scars? What scars are on these young people's minds that they will carry into their future? You know, I can shake it off. It was only two years out of 63 for me, less than a percentage of my life. But for these youngsters, how easy are they going to be triggered in the future? What fears are they, are they carrying around that they shouldn't have to be dealing with?